hello everyone welcome to a new video my name is abuze on today's video i'm going to show you how i edit this studio picture to where i get this result so without any further ado let's get into the video all right first we are going to start with a little cleanup Okay, and then what we are going to do next is to duplicate the original layer and then we duplicate it again then we duplicate the upper one and select the middle layer so what we are going to do is go to our selection and then select subject so basically what we are going to do here is to remove the entire subject from the background so that we can be able to like kind of smooth the backdrop and remove a little a wrinkle we can see on the background so first what you are going to do is to fix the selection and then this area as well and then I'm going to select, modify, and then expand, expand selection. Let me add like 30. This is okay. And then I do right click, fill, and then content aware. All right, it has successfully, successfully removed the subject from the background for us. So what I'm going to do now is to go to uh, filter, blur gallery, and then tilt shift. And then we press Okay, even if the blurry is too much, at least we can reduce opacity. There's nothing to worry about that. This is fine. So now we are going to check back our upper layer and select it. So what we are going to do next is to select subject again on the upper layer. This is okay. It doesn't need to be perfect, so what we are going to do for the upper layer is to add layer mask. So now our subject is visible, that's why it is showing white here on the layer mask. And then the area where there is black is referring to as the background. So now the background of the upper layer is no longer visible, that's why we can see the blurry we added to the middle layer here so as you can see now what is wrong here is the lower part of our body there is error because of the layer mask we added to the upper layer and then the subject we remove in the middle layer so what we are going to do is to bring back some uh, part of her lower body does around her heels and then the shadow to make the lower part of her body look more realistic so what you are going to do here is to add layer mask to the uh, layer in the middle and then what you are going to do is to hide some part of the uh, middle layer using our normal brush and then foreground as black so now we are going to brush you see her shoe is coming back as well as the shadow and then to this leg as well so what i'm going to do next is to fix the ground because there is a lot of stain on the ground so what i'm going to do is to match 
the uh, entire using control alt shift and then e and then we go to our filter blue and then gaussian blue and then we play with the radius i think somewhere around 90 something or 100 is okay and then we click ok then we add mask to the layer and then invert using control i so what i'm going to do is use our monoma brush using white foreground and then reveal the area where we want to stain to disappear if i brush on the area where i don't want it to i don't want to disappear i will just toggle using x to my black foreground and then bring back areas where i want to be in focus like the shoe so that's it so what i'm going to do next is to do frequency separation using my actions here So what I'm going to do to this picture is to add some levels to the skin because like the skin is a bit too darker for my liking. So I will increase the brightness holding alt. So I will be paying attention to the skin. Immediately I start seeing red on the skin as you can see. Skin on the face I'm talking about. So on the forehead either on the forehead or in the, on the nose I, immediately i start seeing red that's when i will stop somewhere here is okay then i inverted control i and then i use my brush using normal brush with foreground white and then i reveal the areas i want the levels to appear So what I'm going to do next is to spice up the background because it's kind of too clean to into our project. So the very first thing we are going to do is to convert our picture into smart object. So after you convert it to smart object, we are going to scale it to fill the background so after we scale it we are going to reduce the opacity to like around 45 and then we are going to add blurry to the layer. And then something we should add to this layer is to change the blend mode. I think we are going to use um, soft light yeah this is okay so the next problem we are to fix on this picture is that this uh, effect we added to the background is kind of appearing on her skin on her body entirely so we have to find a way to uh, hide it from our subject and let it be just on the background so what we are going to do is let's hide it first and then we match our layers using Control Alt Shift E, and then we go to Select Subject. So after it's select, then we are going to add layer mask to the layer we matched on top, and then we are going to uh, shift it to the top and then we reveal back 
the layer which we added effect to the background to the background like this so as you can see now this layer we matched and add layer mask to is kind of separating the uh, effect we added to the background from our subject so the next thing to do is the layer which is kind of uh, spacing up the background as you can see it's also appearing on the ground and which is not good for the picture what you want it is to just appear on the background not on the ground so what you're going to do is uh, to fix it to like kind of uh, uh, hide it on the ground and leave it just on the background is to add layer mask to the layer as you can see and then I use gradient tool and make sure I'm selecting this particular gradient as, uh, as you can see from uh, black to nothing I'll make sure I'm, I'm on it and then I will start uh, dragging from bottom to top as you can see it is hiding So I think we're almost there. Kind of prefer it to be just on the background, not on the ground. So as you can see, this is a little more better. So the next thing we are going to do to make the picture look even more better is we are going to fake a blue light coming from the uh, right because she's having blue color of gel on the right side of her face so what we are going to do to make the picture look more better is to fake a blue light coming from this angle and then another light uh, coming from the left side of her face let's get to it what we're going to do is just to create empty layer and then I double click on my brush then I sample on the color of the gel on her face and then I hit OK what I'm going to do is to click on my normal brush to increase its size and then I click as you can see same thing I'm going to do on this other side of the face but I'm going to change the color this time around I'm going to create another new layer so what I'm going to do for the both two lights is to change the blend mode both to screen and then we put them in a group so now the issue we're having is put the light coming from the left arrow right angle are kind of hitting her body and face which is not good at all so what i'm going to do is we are going to hide the light from her body and face so as you can see now the light is no longer hitting our subject but what I'm going to do is to add a little touch of the lights on her body so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer of the light we fake and then I invert it that's control or command I and then I re reduce the opacity because the layer I duplicate I inverted is now affecting the subject only not the background so it's only for the subject since is the subject that is having the white 
uh, white part of the layer mask so I'm going to reduce the opacity maybe like 20 is okay and then for the layer where the light is hitting the uh, background I'm going to reduce the opacity as well to somewhere like 60 I think this is okay so after so we can match the two layers together and group them and we can name them extra light so what I'm gonna do next is to add lot to the picture so I usually like using this particular lot it's kind of always make my shadows look really nice yes, and then yes this particular lot so um i always like it to appear everywhere on the picture except on the face of my model so what i'm gonna do here is to uh, use my brush using black foreground and then um, do away with the areas that affected the skin as you can see So what I'm gonna do next is just to add uh, levels just to increase the light on my model's face. As before, after, before and after, just a little touch of it and then I bright up my eyes is a normal brush with foreground white flow and opacity at 100 and then push in the eyes it is too much then i reduce the opacity to somewhere around 40 something to 50 this is okay and zoom out. so basically that's the overview on how I achieve this particular look of picture that I shot inside the studio so if you like the video please subscribe like and hit the share button thank you for watching